an amazing way to close out 2019. The Dream Weekend Music Festival is hitting Aloha Stadium on Saturday. Organizer Johnny Mack is here with details on this hot ticket. Good morning, welcome. Aloha and good morning. Yes, tell us all about this event this weekend. This is probably the largest music festival Hawaii's ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Usher, eight-time Grammy Award winner, first time premiering in Hawaii. Uh, we got Marshmallow, uh, with the world's largest song of the decade, according to Spotify, um, breaking Fortnite records with over 10 million fans mm -hmm. in a live concert online. Uh, we got hip-hop stars Migos. We got movie superstar Ice Cube. Uh, we got Saweetie, uh, Sammy J. We got local artist Mimi. Basically. We have something for everybody. We got adults, families, kids, hip hop fans, electronic music fans. We're, we're trying to bring an international festival to Hawaii. This is our third year. Uh, last year, we broke records with Cardi B, Snoop Dogg, and Sublime. Uh, the year before that, we did Chainsmokers, and we're just continually evolving to, to bring something international for Hawaii. I love it because there really is something for everyone of all generations. and. Each of these performers, they're large in their own right, in their own name. You could have a concert and sell out with each of these individuals, but to have all of them on one stage, that's huge. Definitely. We're, we're very honored and blessed to have the lineup that we've chosen. Uh, you, each, each one of these artists could go sell the Blaisdell out a couple times by themselves. And we wanted to bring something that, I don't know, we just wanted to make Hawaii the jewel of the Pacific. Mm -hmm. You fly to Coachella, you fly to EDC, you fly to these international festivals. Why can you not fly to Hawaii for a true international festival? What are some of the challenges in bringing these huge stars over? I, I think the period of time that we're bringing them during the Christmas time, um, the logistics are pretty difficult. Uh, the amount of hotels that are available, the number of flights, um, transportation vehicles. I think that's a huge component. I think very few of these artists have the ability to come across to Hawaii too, because it's expensive for them as well to come across mm -hmm. here. So Usher has like 45 people traveling with him. Wow. And you made it happen though. This is the mm -hmm. first time Usher is performing in the state of Hawaii. This definitely is the first time. I won't take the credit for just me making it happen. We have a team of people we put this together on. Um, my business partner is Mike Galmichi, um, Tautua Reed. We're, we're, we're building a team to bring something truly international together. And tickets still on sale? Tickets are definitely still on sale. Um, we just opened up some extra seats um, to expand the stadium out to, to increase the capacity. And we're excited for people to be exposed for something before the new year. And could we see a fourth festival of this kind next year? That is without a doubt. I think you could see a 20th festival version of this in 20 years from now. Uh, our goal, again, is this, this is going to be the premier festival for Hawaii of international talent. And we're, we're happy to, to bring the Aloha spirit and spread it across the world. So I'm blessed and honored to have it. And we are honored to have it here, too. So thank you so much, Johnny Mac Organizer, for bringing this dream weekend here to Aloha Stadium. Again, it's happening this Saturday. Aloha Stadium, we're talking about Usher, Marshmallow, Ice Cube, Migos, Sweetie, Sammy Johnson's there. Ice Cube, of course. It's this Saturday. Tickets still available, so go check it out. We'll break down the stories you need to know about today. That's